Good evening, friends. Dick Riculous here, reporting live for WBIGD TV. Today, we're going to talk about another product. We're going to have Big D test and prove if it's true, if it's false, if it's right, if it's wrong, if the manufacturer's leading you down a path of destruction, if they're just plain out lying to you, lying to you, lying to you. We are here and we're going to report it because that's what we do. Dick Riculous here, WBIGD TV. What's going on, guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio. Today, we're going to check out a plate amplifier for the car. Yeah, this thing says it does 600 watts and it's $22 on eBay. So we got one of these in from Ho Ching Min somewhere in China. Here it is. You can see a 20 amp fuse. You can see the inputs there for power ground and remote audio input for RCAs, level control, crossover control, and also crossover adjustment. An LED on the right side. You can see the size is pretty small here. It's about 7 inches by 6 inches by 2.25 inches, but the back of it is open. You should realize that so and it appears it's designed to mount to a box with a subwoofer but you'll notice it doesn't have any ceiling around it so you would need to put something around the outside of it to keep it make it seal up better with the box but you also have to be careful vibration will cause components to go bad so you want to make sure uh, that you brace it properly when you mount it to your box but here you can see the internals it's a class a b design it has some fake Nichicon 50 volt 2200 microfarad caps. Um, the other brands are just kind of off brands. You can see the little daughter board there, the wiring that goes from the motherboard to the daughter board, which has a crossover controls, the gains, all that stuff, the audio processing, everything like that on it. So, yeah, so according to the eBay page, 600 watt high power amplifier has thermal overload DC offset. 100% brand new. It's made out of aluminum, 12 volts, 600 watt max, 30 hertz to 280 hertz, 4 ohms. THD is 0.1%. Well, let's find out, my friends. Let's put it on the dyno and see how it does. All right, so we're not provided any RMS output, so 4 ohms will say 600 max. Let's try certified first, which takes us up to 1% THD. 130 watts at 14.18 volts. Uncertified takes us up to clipping. Do a little bit better here, 142 watts at 14.13. Dynamic, sends a pulse tone into the amp, kind of like a subwoofer kicking, kick drum. 145 watts at 14.21 volts. What do you have to say about that? Thanks, Big D. This is Dick Riculous. D <laughs> the specs did not give any indication of it being stable under 4 ohms. Let's find out. All right, let's try 2 ohms. Dynamic burst at 40 hertz. All right, the amp, the light went out. I can play the track again. When we play the track, you'll see the amp will go into some sort of protect because the light goes out. So this amp is not 2 ohm stable rated. It's 4 ohm. So I guess we can try 2.67 and see if it'll do that. Let's try that next. All right, now we're going to try 2.67 ohms mono dynamic burst with a 600 watt PMPO car audio plate amplifier. Let's see what it does, see if it goes into protect or if it works. Nope, it's going in and out of protect. Here, I'll show you. Every time the bass hits, it's going, out of, it's going into protect. So that's no good. So this is literally a four ohm stable amp. Get what you pay for, friends. Got him! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Alright, and here are the results. Probably the shortest amp dyno test I've ever done. Around 130 watts at 4 ohms certified. But let's hook it up to a subwoofer. See how it sounds. Do it bump though? Let's find out. There are three kinds of bass.
see how warm the amp is getting. Oh, it's not too bad. Barely warm. Ha! <laughs> $22 for the win! Alright guys, there you have the test of the not 600 watt, $22 amplifier you can get off of eBay. Hey, I mean it works okay for a small subwoofer or for a project, something like that. I mean 22 bucks and man it puts out about 140 watts, it's pretty good. I don't know, I don't know how long it'll last, but hey it's just fun. It's always fun to test these things, see what they really do. Thanks as always for watching, commenting, liking, and supporting me. Patreon.com slash Old School Stereo. I'm out of here! Thank <laughs> you.